Now we are going to start after inductive effect. We are going to start with one more concept called electromagnetic effect. Now, what actually is inductive effect? It is a permanent effect which we have told. Now, when it comes to electromagnetic effect, electromagnetic effect is a temporary effect. Temporary effect. So, this is the first thing which you should remember. So, first of all, when does this operate? So, temporary uh, it, electromagnetic effect uh, operates only in, uh, in unsaturated compounds, just like here alkynes and alkenes, alkenes rather. So, first important and this is going to work on or it depends on the demand of the reagent. In the presence of the reagent only this concept will work. Okay, what am I trying to explain? I'll tell you. First of all, whenever somebody asks me to explain what is electromagnetic effect, you have to say it is a complete transfer of pi electrons, right? In the in or on uh, transfer of pi electrons, first point, and that too in the presence on the, on the demand of the reagent. Now, as soon as the reagent is removed, the original compound is restored. That's why we said temporary effect. Let us write what we said. It is what do you define electromagnetic effect? It involves complete transfer of pi electrons of multiple bond multiple bond right at the demand of at the demand of a nearby reagent demand of a nearby reagent now and as soon as as this attacking reagent is removed attacking reagent is removed what will happen to the effect the original compound is lost means the effect is lost and the original compound is restored original compound is restored okay this is what is the thing that's why we call it as temporary effect now let me take a carbonyl compound in this way right so one two three four five six seven eight first there's a shift of pi electron as we have written right okay first of all these two will be in resonance plus and this is minus minus now count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and this is shifted and this gets minus. When this gets minus, this also gets plus. Now this, this is a complete transfer of shared pair of electrons of the multiple bond. How is this transferred? The shared pair of the electron is shared towards a more electronegative atom. Remember that. So again, this is more electronegative atom. Based on this more electronegative atom also, we have one more condition in that types of electromagnetic effect. Right. Uh, uh, let us come back and see the types of electromagnetic effect. So now I said this transfer of electrons. So we have two types of electromagnetic effect. One is plus C effect and one is minus C effect. What is plus C effect? How to remember? Suppose if I have an unsaturated compound like this, an alkene. Right. Now I have an attacking reagent. I said this will work only in the presence of a reagent. First, the shifts. Right now, uh, when the shift of electrons, now this hydrogen goes and attacks this carbon. What do you get? You are going to get one as plus, and you can get one more as H. Let us take one more example: propene CH3, CH double bond CH2. Again, you have an attacking reagent here. This is electron release into the electrons will transfer. Now again, there is a shift. So, this hydrogen goes and comes and attacks here. It becomes CH3, CH single bond, CH3 because this hydrogen is added here and this becomes plus now. Now, what are you observing here? You are observing, right? The transfer of pi electron takes place towards the attacking reagent. It is going towards the attacking reagent in this direction, towards. So then it is called plus C effect. So what will, what are we going to write for plus C effect? Remember transfer of pi electrons towards reagent. That is plus C effect. The same thing if I have to take minus C effect. Let us take. Now I am taking S and C and minus. Now attacking reagent. 
right so now what will happen first of all the shift of when this is shift of electron how does this look this looks like c oxygen minus when this, this is minus this is become plus isn't it then this cn goes and attacks this carbon so what do i get i get cn here this is minus so now what is happening here here the uh, the transfer of electron is happening or takes place away from the attacking reagent here it is towards the attacking reagent here the it is going beyond this so it is away so this minus c effect is nothing but transfer of pi electrons away from reagent remember this transfer of pi electrons away from the reagent this is what is happening so that is minus e effect a plus c e effect and this is minus e effect yes uh, suppose if i have to write the mechanism of this so simple isn't it c double bond o oxygen one okay it is like this one two three four this will shift here then what do you get and you have a reagent also attacking minus the step one this is step one so this is a very slow step uh, let me make a line very slow step then what will happen this cyano is going to attack then the second step would be attack of h plus ion because HCN will be there, right? We have done this in aldehydes, so cyanohydrins, OH. This is the fast step. This is the slow step, and this is the fast step. This is how you want to learn. This is your uh, plus C effect, and this is minus C effect. Right now, let's come back and see the applications of electromagnetic effect. Now we have studied it is a temporary effect, and we also said this transfer of pi electrons from where from an unsaturated uh, compound. Now this is again minus E effect and plus E effect which I have told you. Now let's see how, how can I apply electromeric effect. Now basically electromeric effect is applied in three things. What are they? Let me write. The first thing let me divide the page into 1, 2 and 3. I can apply electromeric effect in electrophilic addition reactions. I can apply electromeric effect in nucleophilic addition reactions. And I can also apply electromeric effect in electrophilic substitution reactions. Now, what will happen in electromeric, uh, electrophilic uh, addition reactions of an unsaturated compound basically? It will involve polarization of carbon carbon double bond. That is what we have seen, isn't it? It involves polarization of carbon carbon double bond right what will in which one in the presence of in the presence of electrophiles like h plus it is also used uh, or i can also apply uh, in nucleophilic addition reactions what will happen here in the this is uh, electrophilic addition reactions of which one of unsaturated compounds let me write that unsaturated compounds compounds but when i take nucleophilic addition reactions i can uh, use this in which one carbonyl compounds carbonyl compounds right so what will happen here it will involve uh, the polarization through electromeric effect of carbon oxygen double bond correct so it involves Polar, just now I showed you polarization, isn't it? Polarization of uh, carbon oxygen double bond, correct? In the presence of in the presence of nucleophile, nucleophile. right here in the presence of H plus here in the presence of nucleophile, which I showed you in the earlier video. When I have to speak the electrophilic substitution reactions, this will show in it or it will involve benzenoids. I'll show you what are they. Here, the polarization uh, effect is shown. Uh, uh, the polarization will happen through here due to carbon car uh, carbon carbon double bond C double bond C. Here due to C double bond O. Here it's going to show electromeric effect 
electro like uh, when an electrophile approaches the benzene ring it starts showing electromeric effect i'll show you what it is suppose if i take benzene here an electrophile approaches benzene which you have studied in isn't it so what will happen here this will shift in this direction then you get this and this becomes plus okay if i have to draw the bonds like this i let me draw the bonds in this way it's not confusing i'm sorry the one bond is here one bond is here now further when the electrophile attacks this what do you get you get this way plus is here and the electrophile and hydrogen is here suppose if i take a compound like anisole what is anisole this is an okay this is anisole och3 one bond is here i'm drawing aromatization one bond is here one bond is here so one two three four this will shift in this direction these electrons will shift to this now in the presence of an electrophile what will happen you are going to get the c so double bond arises och3 this become because it is lost electron this will become plus right fine so bond uh, shifts in this direction yes okay and then this is hydrogen and further when an electrophile attacks this what do you get we're going to get this double bond och3 is here this plus is here and you have two and electrophile goes and attacks this side you get h and e correct yes so like that uh, like everywhere you can show it here uh, here attacking in this direction you can show it here so this electrophilic effect can be shown in both three electrophilic addition reactions nucleophilic addition reactions these two examples i have shown in the earlier video also or this one and electrophilic substitution reactions